Hey guys, and welcome back to my fourth episode of Witcher 3, and we are off to get our reward for killing that damn griffin that honestly almost killed us, because I'm not very good at Witcher yet. <laughs> Definitely use some practice. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! So much for Mr. Nice Guy. What? What do you think I'm here for? Jesus Christ. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Ugh. Halt! You don't tell we are me not to halt. Done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Okay, so quick decision. Ah, I gotcha. Might as well take it. Guy's an asshole. Should take his money. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's getting his ass whooped. Okay, let's get out of here. Prepare to leave Wyatt Orchard with Vesemir. Let's get to a signpost so we can fast travel. Here we go. Nope, come on, I said fast travel. There we go, got it. Where are we going? Let's go to here. And, okay, here's the end again. I feel like we're not going to get out of here without a fight, because that just wouldn't be like the Witcher series if we didn't get into a bar fight. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, here's Vesemir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. You're really playing the knife game? Really? Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. Probably. Why do I have a feeling that's not going to happen, though? What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's go! into the birth, and you don't fear the gods' wrath. Oh, damn. You don't fear it, you cunt! Oh, shit. Oh. Is she gonna kill her? Let me be! Or just break her nose. Oh, great. Here comes the bar fight. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Really? And neither are you. Really? They won't back down now. Well, you guys are about to be I dead. I see that. Uh, protective shield, Q. 
Whoop, yay, block that. Okay, are they all dead? Yep. Was that really necessary to chop his head off? It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> Wimps. So much for not getting involved. It wasn't come my on, fault. Let's go. You're the one who went and grabbed the woman. Jesus Christ. Do we have to fight them too? That brawl? We didn't start it. Hey, it's Jennifer. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you. Looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Uh... We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, <laughs> Oops. Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer and remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Well, we found her. This is very odd, but at least we found her. Come on, Roach. Off we go to a place I'm not sure what it is because I've never played a Witcher game before. God, I really need to read up on the lore of Witcher 1 and 2. Why are we just like prancing along instead of... Really? He's you just know, going to slow pan and check her out? Recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning, but then... But, but then, then the no. wild hunt came, and it was snowing just like this. Is this part of the dream, or is this real? Oh shit, it's real. Ride now! Well, there's a place of power, and we're being chased by the fucking wild hunt. Jesus Christ. Oh, he didn't, Doug. Oh god, are they gonna- their horses seem really fast. Are they gonna get us? 
god, they even have like wolf dog things. Shit. Go, 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 go. I hope my ho horse is fast enough. This is. Oof. Are they even human? Or are they like some kind of like ogre thing, like in Lord of the Rings? Because that's what they remind me of. Oh, she's gonna blow up the bridge. Boom. Can he make it across or no? Nope. Whew. Okay, Jesus. Oh, and there's the city? They almost got us. We're like 400 meters away from the gates. <laughs> this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. So our story significant enough that a bard is telling it? Interesting. Okay, that girl's having way too much fun scrubbing Geralt. And he's enjoying it a little bit too much. Oh, and he's naked. Okay. That's shameless. Hmm. It must suffice. Seriously. Think of mere cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. What? The what now? In that chair. Uh. Catwin. We shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. <laughs> Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time, and a uh, razor to your throat. I would not threaten me if I were you. Okay, I'm not going to say the Wild Hunt killed them, since Yennefer hasn't told me what's the deal yet, so... Your men died in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you, overly. True, but I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings. We can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you, too. Ugh. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? Okay, my no. face is back. He himself is very much against the grain, that's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Not even going to wipe the shaving cream off? Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Alrighty then. Where are my clothes? 
where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Really? Let's just get dressed. Inventory. Let's just drag these on. And trousers instead of a bath towel. How are we doing on food? I think we're kind of screwed here. Oopsie. That wasn't what I wanted here. Character. What did I want here? Inventory. Whoops. I'm stupid. No, that's not that useful. Noise that. Okay, so we're running really low on food, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh well. Hey, bro, we're done. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Ugh, really? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. Oh my god. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Ugh. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. Huh. <laughs> That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner, not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Oh my god, really? Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Really? I don't know, this one? I didn't pay attention. Hmm... Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Sure. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Sure. So, what's this emperor? Oh, I think this guy is voiced by the in same Grimmie actor who is Tywin Lannister on Game Dyfen of Thrones. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. Damn straight I didn't bow. <laughs> so many months at Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. <laughs> there we go, there's Tywin. My daughter Surila. She's returned. And she's in danger. Oh, the it's that girl from the very her. first episode. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri... left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. 
How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Why did Enough the Emperor's daughter you become would a witcher? Regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Alrighty then. Let's go chill out with Yennefer. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. <laughs> Calm yourself. What? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only have yeah. I made to wait here like I'm some named. supplicant. Oh, that's Rats cool. I can just rotate there, through these. I don't have to click them. Oh god, that room is really loud. What do you need? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Fine. That quill sharpened yet. Yes. Okay, let's go. True. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. Oh. <laughs> but we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Huh. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Amir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please. Let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead, focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Clearly well, not. Guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. I presume that's me. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. What gift? As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... 
I prefer not to think about it, really. She's clearly the Emperor's daughter, hence the blood, but what gift? And why the hell did the Emperor's daughter become a witcher? I really need to read up on this. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Who? Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. What? Yen. I'd lost my memory. No oh, shit. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop huh. it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Interesting. So apparently Geralt lost his memory at some point Guess and this dated means someone we else. Need to split up again. Oops. <laughs> Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. Oh, I'll you can go teleport? on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Damn. Damn. Your way? Oh, and no, I want to teleport. You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Well, I, I guess she's not waiting. too angry. Okay. She said, talk to the ambassador. I think that's probably a good idea to figure out what the hell is going on here. Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Yes. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace. Perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Really? This hm. attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Huh. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. 
massive yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Ugh. Oh, uh, was that everything, or...? What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Might. <laughs> well, I think that's enough information. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Sure, let's go get my gear now. Ah. Really? That hurt? Wimp. Okay, let's go. Give me my shit, bro. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. Thanks, Bunches? The Emperor is not known Early? for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Huh. Well, she looked like an OP fighter, though. Bird of the dry head brigade. And that was when she was little, so now as an adult, she's probably really badass. Okay, let's get out of here. Fast travel. Where are we going here? Space world map? Velen? Guess we're going here to Hangman's tree? Would be united if something even more important happened in the Zima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Hangman's tree, huh? Oh god, this looks like a tree. And has a crow on it. Oh no, is this going to be Hangman's tree? Oh no, ropes. Uh, uh... Gross. Ew. That's just nasty. Yeah, ill. Hey, we still have the griffin head. That's also gross and probably rotting. But whatever. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode of Witcher 3. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.